Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this video, we're going to talk about the high speed counter that we have on the software EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic. And also, we're going to talk about how this high speed counter function block are linked to the fast input that we have on the PLC. So, let's go to the presentation. So, we need to know what are the difference between the high speed counter and the counter function block that we have on the PLC on the on the software. The counter, the normal counter can be used for everything that we want, but the high speed counter requires the fast inputs of the PLC. And this is related to for example, if you are trying to read something that is changing fast, um if and if you're trying to use, for example, the one of the digital inputs linked to this to this normal counter, it's probably depend on the frequency um, of the of the pulse that is entering into the digital input that you're going to lose some pulses. Okay, depend on the frequency. So if you have something that changed too fast, okay, the best is to use the high speed counter. For example, if you're using an encoder, or if you are trying to read the um, an a specific, uh, for example, if you got a gear, you're trying to read the teeth. Um, in that case, probably you will need to use a high-speed uh, counter along with the fast input that we're gonna see here. So, saying this, let's continue with this part. Inside the EcoStructure Machine Expert Basic, we have the high-speed counter. And this is HSC, okay, it stands for high speed counter. And we have this different configuration. So we have single phase that require only one uh, fast input, and then we have the dual phase. The, this dual phase can be used, for example, two encoders. And we also have the frequency meter, two frequency meter uh, to read the frequency. So there are some limitations, of course. And the limitation will depend on the frequency of the input that we're trying to read. Okay, so in the M221, we have we have the possibility to read um, the changes of the signal that we're trying to read in the input up to 100 kilohertz. Okay, and it depends on how we configure the uh, the high spin counter. Okay, we can have the value of the actual count in word on double word and here is the the limits okay from zero to this from the word and this one is for double word and the value okay the final value for the the actual value of the counter will depend uh, based on the instant that we have that we are using of the function block that we're going to see later. If you are using word, we just need to use the B. And if we are using the double word, we just need to use the BD. OK, that is the only difference. So continue with this. If you are using, for example, the answer to one, these are the fast input. This fast input, we have up to four fast input in the m to ones okay and it depends on the size of the m to one we have the regular inputs okay but in all of them we have four fast inputs so you can use for example four single um, single the name single phase okay if you want to use for example um, a sensor inductive sensor or capacitive sensor to read something okay to read for example the gear and then you can count from there, or you can use an encoder. But the encoder requires um, two uh, fast input, okay? For pulse direction, if you are using, for example, the dual phase A and B. So that is something that you need to check, okay? But you can have four fast input in the M221, and you can use, for example, four in, um, for single phase or one uh, one encoder and two single phase. So the encoder requires two and the other one's one. So you can make a mix 
of the selection and in here you can see this part the assignation of the digital inputs of the M221 okay for fast input we have the first two and then the last two on here the six and seven okay are related for the high speed contour one okay and this one for the high speed contour zero okay and if you're using for example the single phase okay we have more one two three four okay so we're going to cover that later but this one is just a small introduction of the high speed counter and the thing that you need to know okay and here's an example that you if you're going to use uh, two encoders two incremental encoders you can have it over here you can use up to two now the minimal uh, thing that you can use here at the fast input okay if you are using for example uh, single phase okay you're using the high spin counter for the fast input but there are some additional stuff that you can configure the preset and the catch so you can assign the preset and catch configuration to digital inputs so you don't use the software in case you don't want it so if you want to use the preset okay you can assign one of the digital inputs that you have over here and depend on the high speed counter that you that you have used okay you must assign to that specific but the software you want to see later that the software tell you uh, which one you need to use so the preset will allow me to initialize the high speed counter okay to the preset value that we have assigned this doesn't apply to the uh, to the single phase okay it just go to zero it doesn't do anything it doesn't go to the preset value okay this is something that you need to know and the catch will move the actual value to this instance the instance of the high spin counter that you're using dot c to the catch okay it will move the value so imagine that you want to make uh you just need to mm -hmm, move just the value to show and make some calculation instead you use the dot value okay you just need to like trigger the catch and then move to make the equation that you want okay that's a little bit the idea just to catch the actual value of the counter into this value over here and depend of your using if you have configured word or double word there is a different assignation that we're going to cover that later so once you have already configured the high spin counter, which high spin counter, and if you want to use the present and catch, there is some important values that you need to configure in case you want it, which are the threshold. Basically, the threshold can compare the actual value of the counter, okay, and you can execute events, and you can also execute the reflex output that we're going to see later okay so depend on the actual value that you have on the counter remember dot b is the actual value you can activate a uh, event okay or you can also activate the output of the function block that we're going to use and for the reflex output okay there are a specific there are some specific um, outputs for this okay you can see here in this graphic for example, the reflex output for the high speed counter zero are these ones, okay, depending on if you're using the encoder or the single phase, okay. It will depend, and here you can make the logic comparison. Continue with this. This is what I meant by trigger events, okay. Based on the threshold that you have configured, okay, you can specify the priority and how you can trigger the event for the um, for the threshold so let's go to the application just to show you how to configure later we're going to cover more in details everything okay so if you go to configuration if you go to high speed counter you can see here the four instance that you can have okay if you are going to use for example the single phase you have four of them but if you use an encoder and then um, the single okay an encoder and a single you just need one high speed counter and then the other one already reserved okay so for example if i'm going to use an encoder dual phase 
here you have the possibility to select port direction quadrature for one two and four so i'm going to use this one okay as you can see here this high speed counter is not enabled okay because this one takes two but it allows me to use the single face okay now i can specify i need to mm -hmm, just hold on not configure and this one i can configure it again dual face and there we go so i'm using two encoders okay that is the idea so i'm going to not configure this and i'm going to use the single face just to show you so remember that i told you that you can use word double word and this is what you need to click if you just click this it means that after the values that you have of the instance of the function block you just need to add the d otherwise the normal should be fine here you can define the preset value that remember for the single phase it's going to go to zero you're going to have the threshold levels okay this is the threshold zero for example if i specify 10 the other 20 okay when the actual value reach this one okay it will activate if we're using this um a subroutine okay and the other one is for the other uh, threshold that we have now before we continue with this let's go to the programming how you can find it here you have the all the function blocks you had counter fast counter and high speed counter here is the function block okay and it will change depending on the instant that we are using and here is the activation of the threshold okay if you want to do something in the software it can activate until the actual value reach the threshold zero or one that we have configured over here okay in this ones now if you want to assign for example activate the trigger let me just show you before going this you can see here that i don't have any events so if i activate this trigger for example uh, rising edge and rising edge over here apply you can see that we are two events over here okay and here for example i can assign a free pou and then i assign it over here let me just put something over here uh, ba -ba -ba m1 and zero or probably just like this okay and then you can assign over here the events all the free periods that you have so when the actual value reaches a threshold okay it will execute only just one time this subroutine that we have already created so this is basically what it does the events for the threshold once you have configured and if we go for example into this part in the inputs here you can use if you click over here it just assign for the one that's configured for each input so you you cannot swap this okay you just need to use it or not okay there we go now it, for the reflex output okay you can specify if you want to use it and here if you use it you can define the assignation which one do you want okay to activate based on the threshold that you have okay the same for re reflex output too okay so um, this is just an overview for the high speed counter okay the idea is of using the high speed counter if you want to use an encoder or something that gives you uh, pulses up to uh, five, uh, 100 kilohertz this is what you need to use okay so uh, we're going to cover that later for the single phase and different encoders and also the frequency meter but at the moment i want to give you a rough idea of the high speed counter how to configure and so on so this is it for this introduction thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one